That, you guys, is a little tree. And here's his boat, you guys. Oh, yeah, nice one. Oh, you got a good one. Isn't that pretty cool? Got this. That, you guys, is a little tree growing out of a lake. There's a little mound of dirt there. Just a pretty scenic thing to see. A little guy just all by himself there in the lake. I figured I'd stop and do a little fishing at this lake. I have to use a single barbless hook, bait band, all that good stuff. So, I already got a single barbless spinner on there. I'm just gonna use this for now, a little pink guy. Try casting it off of this dock. It, guys it's a real short visit at this lake um it's nice to cast a line a few times but i'm not gonna stick around i'm gonna keep going Yep, that was for the round trip. So that was uh, Victoria to Port Renfrew to Duncan, back down to Victoria. 80 bucks, 45 liters. Was it worth it? Yeah, it was. Um, I probably could have stayed in Duncan, but I was like, I should come down and check this package that I've got and um, cause I'm expecting something that's kind of important. And uh, get some tools and help Nick out. Maybe uh, might go on a little boat trip with him. So anyway, for what it was worth, it came down here. Back in Nick's. And here's his boat, you guys. The Boston Swaler. He's got a uh, Tohatsu 25 horsepower as the main engine on the boat. Um, I believe we got a, oh, let's see, we're, we're adding these on right now. And uh, he's got his Tatsu 3.5 as a spare engine. Uh, as you can see, it's full of just needles and stuff like that that have fallen off trees. So we're gonna have to scoop all this out, clean it out. And just like that, the boat's clean, it's geared, it's ready to go. We got all our stuff in here, we got some bait down in the bottom. All we gotta do now is pick up a new battery for the boat, get some fuel, and then we're gonna head out.
and the van is packed with our fishing gear. I'm, I'm kind of excited. And Nick was sharing something with me. He says, there's a good chance he's gonna park this boat down in a marina and um, I'd be able to go down there whenever I want and go use it. How about that? Wasn't I just talking about this? Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, that's a nice one. Oh, yeah. Shoop. Take him over to the front there. You want to reach over? Oh, my God. You swallowed that. Do you have pliers? Yes, I do. Hey, buddy. <laughs> yeah, we got one here. <laughs> Our first ocean fish. And it's a soul. Yeah, it's a good eater there. Get him right in. Oh yeah, he's barely hooked, hey? Buddy. <sighs> Sweet. Yeah, this is a nice one again. Nice. Nice. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well done. Okay, we just hauled this in, guys. We got uh, a red rock here. That's a dungeness. We got a starfish. Hi, buddy. Look at that. <laughs> See ya. Oh, this guy's missing claws too, hey? Yeah, there's Dungeness. And this guy's male guy, see that point underneath his belly? Points up to the air like a big phallic. Oh, yep, that's, a, a, that's well. a Dungeness. There you go. Another male Dungeness. Hi, buddy. These are too <laughs> small for sure, so. And then we got another Dungeness here. Yeah. Also too small, also male. Male, too small. This this might be a female, this, this red rock crab. Yeah, let's see. No, it's a male. It's crazy though, lots of males, hey? Yeah. He's, he's definitely bigger, that's a red rock there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, super big. This. Okay, we're back on the trailer. Good to go. There is the sole. And here's the red rock crab. Pretty cool. Got the sole, the crab, garlic butter, and beans. Looking pretty good. Pretty good. 